Having this um, Lenovo HTC Si um, remake video, uh, let me just move on out a bit to see through. What is it? Okay. Sorry about that. I'm just moving out a bit. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just moving the case, which is very bulky and very loose junk. Um, and yeah, so we, or I, will do the remake of the how to install ROM on your Lenovo HTC. I'm assuming. Okay, a bit here. Okay, I'll just turn. I'll turn down. I just turn my oh, Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, as usual, let me just show you one thing. Uh, I. I think I shouldn't close the thing. Uh, closer Wi-Fi. Um, okay. Uh, you have you if you can. You download the Quick Boot app. Um, uh, just type Quick Boot. Yeah, you just download this app. Developed by. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Focus. Focus! I don't know if you can see that. Um, focus. No, you can't focus. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's not adjusting though, so I'm just bringing it up. You can see that. Um, a pot. A, a pot. Opportunity GH. Um, let me just download it. Be sure you root at your phone and um, yeah. If you don't know how to root your phone, uh, go to my channel and check out how to root your phone 2014 edition. I maybe will do a 2015 edition, 2015 remake edition because that would a little bit better. Um, I'm just turn off the Wi-Fi to get off this ad. Um, yeah, so I, let me just, if you have this app, you can just go to the Quick Boot app, uh, and just go there, and click a recovery button and grant the super user uh, permissions. If you don't have this app, and you don't have uh, mobile data, and you don't have internet, internet uh, go do the old-fashioned way. Turn off your phone, hold 
until it vibrates. Uh, and then just press power, volume up and volume down button simultaneously. And then it will go to the recovery mode. Uh, I'm just using this. Uh, maybe granted, so let me just see. Uh, if you notice my brain mission. Okay. Uh, um, now you just click wipe. If you're using twerp, um, if you use clockwork mod, uh, you have to use volume up and down button to s navigate and power button to select. Um, in clockwork mod, you have to go to wipe data factory reset and then yes, and then go to wipe cache, yes, and then go to the advanced wipe delve cache, yes. But in here, it's much more simplified. You have to swipe to factory reset. Just swipe it. Um, if you are a fan of Twerp, um, congratulations. Ow. <laughs> I just knocked up something. Uh, congratulations, because I use Twerp also. And I just click... Uh, after you've done that, up your swipe, click Advanced Wipe. And click Check Down the Cache and Cache. And just, just swipe to wipe. Um, and I want to give a shout out to one of, um, a guy here, he's called Raven Nibat, uh, I don't know if, um, I don't even watching, and sorry for, uh, not spelling your name correctly, uh, anyway, he is actually a guy, wait a minute, not this, creation, yes. Not this one actually. And just go back and see you remember C okay. Oh yeah, this one. Uh sorry about that. And just swipe to confirm flash. Yeah. Okay, this is actually a row S one one eight. I don't know if you can see that because I have a have a crappy camera here. Uh about one hundred and fifty bucks. Which is annoying. Which is the camera is a 14 megapixel sensor in it. Just not very good. It captures 720p uh, HD videos, not 1080, 1480p that I like to use to. But you know, um, since I'm not a very famous channel, so I just use this as my daily driver, daily, daily driver camera. Uh, also, I want to ask all of you, is your phone get heated because of when gaming? Because uh, when I was bought this phone about 2013, my phone doesn't heat up when the gaming, like playing Asphalt 8 or whatever, when you're throwing at it. But now, it just heats up very, very quickly. Um, when I used to get when I used to play at 2013, it's not heated up as crazy like Maniac, but now it's just really, really, really crazy. Uh, really, really, yeah. So maybe it's a hardware issue with Lenovo. Uh, I have to check the web. Uh, I have a notebook here. Just bear, me. just wait here. Uh, maybe I'll fast forward this, but since I have, don't have the mouse. Since I don't have the most um, professional kit here, so um, sorry about that. I couldn't fast forward for you, but okay, so it's done. Um, okay, it's done. Next, finish. And if you have any add ons, you just click back and then you just install it once again. And that's it. Uh, and then we just have to click reboot system. And first boot would take 5 to 10 minutes. So... Yeah. And just... Okay, it's boot up. So this is actually a stock ROM. Not a custom ROM. I used a custom ROM before, but... 
I accidentally uh, flash it, flash another ROM like the lollipop. Oh, the phone not booted up. Not sure I done that. Um, maybe we have flash mm, unsuccessful. Hmm, maybe. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching from my video. Maybe I fixed it, my phone. Uh, yeah, maybe it's trash. Um, I don't know. Um, uh, but and. But if you install it, but you install it and you say successful, and you boot it up, it's really really it's the same as this. Go ahead and go to recovery. You have to use the old fashioned way. You have the second way. So I have to flash it around. Bear with me. Now it's finally working. Finally, finally. And it's here. Uh, let me just set it up here. Um, Second, uh, you don't need to see this. Just maybe I'll cut this part because I'm really lazy. Connecting. Uh, yes, I will set up now. Signing in. Uh, just now I checked the heating issues. Um, some of it, some of them have heating issues, and some of them doesn't. Doesn't. Frankly, because the hardware issues. Maybe because the chipset they put on this device is not very good. Frankly, maybe it's that. And I hated it very much because. You know, um, when you're having your phone, um, what do you say? When you're having your phone, um, for like two years, I have this, I've done, I have this phone for two years. Um, it launched at 2012, um, if I remember. I think it's a I thought it was a good buy because for 290 ringgit, you can get a dual core processor, 2 megabytes of RAM, and um, the 4 gigs of storage, um, which is frankly pretty good. Um, yeah, I totally appreciate that. But now, not very good. So that was the um, how to install a stock ROM on the Lenovo h 6 i uh, If you have uh, the stock ROM Row S11, S111, uh, I will actually upload it to my Google Drive and you can download it for that. You don't have to dealing with revenue about um, Say safe link converter. Uh, I don't have that. I maybe we do that because this ROMs, this stock ROMs not ported by me. It's probably by them, but their ROM will just their link will just suck. Uh, maybe I'll up I'll upload this video um, next week. I mean, by the time we're shooting this, um, it's ten thirty nine. I'm just. By the time I shoot this video, I'm it's January first, right? Which is a new year. Happy New Year holiday. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will do my next video, the blooper, 
If you want, if you're interested in the, the bloopers video, go and check out my channel. Sometimes I would do that. Um. Well, thanks for all of you who subscribe my channel at two thousand fourteen. Maybe I'll provide more and more and more exciting content for you. I'm Arizona Time Machine. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye.